Welcome to Pinoy Guard. Today, we're discussing something truly exciting. A major step by the Philippines in strengthening its defense with cutting-edge technology. There's something being built that will impact the future of our maritime security. Don't miss the details. Before we reveal today's exciting news, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you don't miss any important updates from us. Today, we will discuss the construction of the Philippines' first BrahMos anti-ship missile base. According to the latest satellite data, this base is being constructed at the Leo Vigildo Gantioki Naval Base in Zambales, directly facing the South China Sea. This move follows the purchase of supersonic cruise missiles from India in 2022 and is part of the Philippines' effort to enhance its maritime defense. Strategic Analysis of the BrahMos Missile Base Construction in Zambales The choice of Zambales for the BrahMos Missile Base is a strategic decision based on complex geopolitical and military considerations. The geographic location of Zambales, facing the South China Sea, offers several strategic advantages for the Philippines, including deterrence and power projection. The presence of the BrahMos missile system sends a strong signal about the Philippines' resolve to defend its sovereignty and deter aggression from neighboring countries. With the missile's extensive range, the Philippines can project its military power over a broader area in the South China Sea, increasing its influence in the regional dynamics. Protection of strategic assets. The base serves as an additional layer of defense to protect the Philippines' exclusive economic zone, EEZ, which is rich in natural resources and vital maritime routes for global trade. Integration with existing defense systems. The BrahMos missile system can be integrated with existing air and naval defense systems, forming a stronger and more effective defense layer. Geopolitical implications The construction of the BrahMos missile base in Zambales has significant geopolitical implications. Bilateral relations. This decision may strengthen bilateral relations between the Philippines and India, particularly in defense and security matters. Regional dynamics. The presence of the BrahMos missile system will alter the power dynamics in the South China Sea and potentially trigger strategic competition with neighboring countries. Military alliances. The Philippines may consider strengthening military alliances with other countries that share similar views on maritime security in the region. Challenges and opportunities While the BrahMos missile base offers many benefits, there are challenges that need to be addressed. Conflict escalation. The presence of offensive weapon systems could increase the risk of conflict escalation if not managed carefully. Dependence on foreign suppliers. The Philippines needs to ensure the availability of spare parts and technical support from India to maintain the operational readiness of the missile system. Maintenance costs. Operating and maintaining advanced missile systems requires substantial funding. History and specifications of the purchase In 2022, the Philippines ordered BrahMos supersonic cruise missiles from India as part of the Philippine Navy's shore-based anti-ship missile acquisition project. The $375 million sale includes three BrahMos missile batteries and technical support for the system, to be managed by the Philippine Marine Corps Coastal Defense Regiment. Base Specifications Location the BrahMos base is located at the Philippine Navy's Leo Vigildo Gantioki Naval Base in Zambales, on the western coast of Luzon. This location was previously used for amphibious assault and coastal defense training. Facilities The new base is situated south of the Philippine Marine Academy, replacing an area previously used for amphibious assault vehicle storage. Strategic Implications Enhanced Defense Capability the base will enhance the Philippines' ability to safeguard maritime sovereignty and protect its EEZ in the South China Sea. Response to threats. With the BrahMos missile system, the Philippines can more effectively respond to potential maritime threats from China and other regional actors. Military modernization. This acquisition is part of a broader defense modernization program aimed at updating the country's fleet and defense systems. International Reactions and Future Prospects International Interest The sale of BrahMos to the Philippines may influence other Southeast Asian countries, increasing their interest in this missile system. Strategic Cooperation The construction of this base strengthens the strategic relationship between the Philippines and India and demonstrates the Philippines' commitment to enhancing regional alliances amidst maritime tensions. 
Conclusion The construction of the Philippines' first BrahMos anti-ship missile base is a significant step in modernizing the country's defense capabilities. With this advanced missile system, the Philippines not only boosts its maritime defense capabilities but also solidifies its position within regional defense strategies. This project underscores the Philippines' determination to tackle maritime security challenges and enhance international cooperation in the Indo-Pacific region. That's it for today's discussion on Pinoy Guard. We've seen how the construction of the Philippines' first BrahMos anti-ship missile base is a crucial step in modernizing our national defense. With this advanced system, the Philippines not only strengthens its maritime capabilities but also solidifies its position amid complex regional dynamics. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell to stay updated with our latest information. Thank you for joining us, and see you in the next episode. Stay tuned for the latest news and analysis on our country's defense and security here on Pinoy Guard.